Heavy detoxes, you know we improve here. <clears throat> I'll go back to the Portuguese phrase book. 30 day challenge, we are on day five, I can't remember. So we are on getting a room and you know who also needs to get a room? John, the next room because he's been an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be watching this, you sod. Because this will be uploaded right after that reply video to your freaking response, man. Yeah, I know you'll be watching that other video that I did. I doubt you'll be watching this one. And yeah, it's true, these videos are inspired by what you were doing, except it's not on Minecraft. But I still wanted to do this video because I bought this in a charity shop two months ago. Okay, it's literally only 20p. This is 20p. Pretty cheap. I bet when this was back in the 70s, it was probably a pound or some shit. <laughs> anyway, so get in a room, yeah. John, you better kiss yourself, you freaking idiot. Right, it doesn't mean by that get in a room, it means like literally get in a room, like in a hotel or some place, which coincidentally, as you guys know, back in my other video, I'm in real at the moment, explains the background change. So, yeah. So, balcony is a varanda. Which is varanda. I figured like you go a bit more high on the A ah, because it's highlighted black. So varanda, you got for bed, it's um kara kam a, ah, but the umma isn't um, shown on the next on the right side for the context, so it's kama. Breakfast translated is pika pika khuno. Went a bit Russian there, sorry. Almo, almoso, amoso. There's two extra O's. <coughs> Dinner, o jantar, so jantar. I don't know, it looks, doesn't that look more Pakistani than bloody Portuguese? It's got like a A, H, R on it. And double room is um quarter para duas personas. No, personas, not personas. Persona, you know, starts making that video game joke. Anyway, I'm not going into that shit. Um, yeah, so just, that was double room. So, um corto para duas pessoas. And then underneath, I don't know why there's maybe this. Yeah, the top one must be for the original pronunciation, where the other one is for the English kind of like summed up version. So, I'll do the English summed up version, which is. Koroto para duash pe soash. So basically, the soas is pronounced soash, not so ass. So I was pronouncing that wrong again twice. Guest guest house is e pansal, which is pan saun. Hotel, hotel, key, shav, lunch, almosho, night. Know it, which I might be getting confused with another one that we did back on day three. Um, private bathroom is Casa di Banu Privat Privativa. Um, reception is Reception. Room is Hoto. Shower is Douche. Single room translation is Koto. No. No, that's alright, I'm getting them confused, it's the one below that, the other one. So single room is Kotu para um a pisoa. With bath is Kong Kaza di Banyu Youth Hotel. Albert Ki di Juventud. Juventud is quite. Sounds German, never mind Portuguese. It's always like certain letters that stick out in languages. Always gets me that. Like, for example, um. One time, um, this German was talking when I was watching something. It, it luckily wasn't a Hitler documentary, if you follow me. But one of the words sounded very Japanese. Like he was just ranting, and it sounded like hella Japanese. Um, Tang Kato Livir Pot Uma Noit. This was the one that I summed up on the first take, but I deleted it due to comedic and uh, cringe reasons. Let's just say, um, but yeah. Do you have a room for one night? Tang kotu liver par o ma noit. See the noit part just has that like finesse to it. 
Do you have a room for one person, two people? Time Koru Livir Par Uma Piso Duash Piso Ash. I don't know what. Oh, so basically the Duash Piso Ash is for two people and for the one is Uma Piso So that's for the context for two and one. I did it the other way around. Just so you guys know. We'd like to rent a room for a week. Kiri Umas Ulunga Ung Klato Pora Uma Simana. See, this is the one that I struggle on the most, which makes sense as it is the final one on that page. You guys can see there, just trying to lower it more to lens. There, that one there. What a mouthful. But it's, we'd like to enter room for a week once again. So just re elaborating on this. Kiri Umus Alungar Ung Klato Por Uma Simana. Almost like a seminar, I think. Jeez. But yeah, um, that's the end of day five, guys. Still got another. No, that's not. I'm not even gonna say how many days left because I'm, I'm gonna be completely wrong. It's probably um another twenty four days. I think my maths is complete ass. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, hope you, hope you guys enjoyed. I need to get that two hundred eighty back. Um, and to celebrate, I'm gonna do this announcement late because I did get it, but then uh. Dickhead John unsubscribed, even though he used to be a good YouTube friend of mine back in 2017. Um, once I get it back, I'm going to do a QA and a for, for my channel so you guys can ask the most wackiest shit. Because I've been wanting to do one for ages and I've seen many other YouTubers do those. So I thought, why not for hitting that goal, I'll go do that. You can ask, ask me the most dumbass shit if you want to. You can ask. The only thing you can't ask is for my credit card number. <laughs> like the, that, that one meme where that those youtubers you guys will probably know what i'm talking about but when they hire that guy with short white hair and they usually pay him to say um john wick needs your help uh to save tilted towers you know etc um so yeah um hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe again and uh yeah you guys are deaf make sure to do the hard work especially don't feel like peace